Let's have a look at ecumenism in Advent. This is taken from an article by Father Jerry O'Collins, SJ. We've already moved into the season of Advent and Christmas is but ten days away. When Christmas comes around, we do many things. We send out Christmas greetings to our family and friends. We put up cribs in our churches, schools, public places, and also we put them up in our homes. Many will attend services beforehand, the likes of carols by candlelight or something like that, or Nine Lessons and Carols, which was introduced in 1880 by an Anglican bishop and has consequently become quite popular in Christian churches throughout the world. As for carols themselves, Christians sing more or less the same repertoire throughout the world. Through our carols, we share together the same deep delight as we gather round the major of a poor child who came as our saviour. Carols are wonderfully ecumenical in their origin. Four verses of the tune, Adesta Fidelis, or O Come, All Ye Faithful, are attributed to an 18th century Roman Catholic layman, John Francis Wade. Angels We Have Heard On High is a traditional French carol, now commonly sung to a tune arranged by one Edward Shippen Barnes, an American organist and composer. The text of Hark the Herald Angels Sing comes from Charles Wesley, and the tune is taken from one by Felix Mendelssohn, who was born a Jew and brought up a Lutheran. Isaac Watts, a nonconformist, composed the words of joy to the world, and the music to that is attributed to George Frederick Handel. O little town of Bethlehem, composed by an Episcopalian bishop, and the tune is due to Rafe Vaughan Williams. Ding dong merrily on high, a 16th century French dance. The text comes from an English enthusiast. We owe away in the manger to a 19th century American Lutheran child's book. The words of See Amid the Winter Snow, which we don't really know here, was written by Edward Caswell, a convert who joined St. John Henry Newman in the Birmingham Oratory. St. John Goss, an Anglican composer and, and organist, provided the tune for that. As we see, carols unite Christians everywhere round the Christ child's manger. Silent Night, Holy Night is the work of two Austrian Catholics, a priest and an organist in a country church. An Irish Protestant Naum Tate probably composed the text for While Shepherds Washed, washed Their Socks by Night. Oh, sorry, While Shepherds Watched Their Flocks by Night, which is often sung to music taken by Handel. And there will be more on the subject next time.